part three or three or three. I don't know. What? <laughs> So the last set of items, um, of course, we always usually leave the drink for the last one just because, might as well, I right? Do first. <laughs> so what do we got going on here? What is this one? Let's go with the one that you say that I'm going to hate the most. Well, you might not like it. It's the uh, matcha coconut cookies. It's actually a pretty big package. Yeah. Well, hold on. I was quite surprised. Because the packaging is being misleading on there, when I saw it, because I pulled the booklet up first to try to make sure that the... I don't think this is frozen. Just for the record. And inside this package was another package! There's like Maybe I'll... Um, um, there's at least three more in there. If it's not frozen, what I think maybe what we'll do is uh, do a. I'm gonna try to work. Uh, so I do have editing now. I have a computer, so I can actually edit now. So maybe we'll actually uh, freeze it again and then have it tomorrow. Each package has five cookies. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Shimmery, sugar. They look like a very matcha smelly. They look like those cookies that you have with tea and you don't have any tea. Definitely a lot of matcha flavoring. Not really getting a whole lot of the coconut flavor. Which doesn't bother her. Nope. Mm. Lots of opinions. It's really dry. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That was my opinion. You stole it from me. I'm sorry. How dares. Hmm. Oh, no. Aside from it just being kind of dry. They're not bad. Maybe you should actually try having it with your tea. Maybe. Maybe with the with the raspberry tea. Because it's technically a green tea base. What have we got? Yep. The Umaibo Pollock. We'll see how this one goes. It's supposed to be seafood flavored. <coughs> she divided them all up on the table and she put the table over by me this time. Me. This may have been a mistake. So it keeps staring. No. Well, why is it so orange? It's like a Cheeto. It is like a Cheeto. It's hollow. And it's probably that very crispy. It smells like a very seasoned fish fillet. Almost like fish food. Almost. <laughs> oh, it's got some spice to it. <laughs> Cheeto dust! Except it's not Cheetos. No, but it definitely dusts my fingers. <laughs> <clears throat> Stop dropping it on the floor. It incinerates. 
Well, yeah. It seems to be a thing for these ones. I don't know. It tastes pretty good. Oh, not bad. Very mild fish taste. Very, very mild. It's got that really potent, like, flavoring of the orangeness. Put it back in there. So. The one, one of the ones you've been waiting for. Oh my god, it's the Hello Kitty Sakura candy. These ones are also individually wrapped. And supposedly they may possibly come in three flavors. Cherry, apple, and orange. orange. <clears throat> it's interesting that apple is a yellow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was saving the Kit Kats. Because she usually likes doing those ones the last. And then I was also saving the drink. She said she wanted to do that one exactly last. They may be possibly... One shot. They are literally one shot. Yeah. Oh, this is... I was going to say, this one's orange. Yeah, that's a cherry. This is an orange. So we have to have three of these. It's the same color? Yeah, this. The same for more. So they're individually wrapped little guys. I'm going to put the cherry off the side because I want that one last. Might have the orange first. Can I find your two apples? Yeah. Oh, these are hard candies. It says it right on the package. I didn't realize that these are actually like hard candies. Yeah, they look kind of like Starburst gummy. Not really gummy. Chewies. Here, I'll look. Because I got one in my mouth. I don't know. The problem is, is that the orange and the yellow look very similar in, in color when they're in the bag. Oh, I don't think we have one. Oh, okay, I see the difference. What? Is those clothes different? The kimono? The kimono? The kimono? Because this is... No, it's... I think that's the orange. I think these are the... Because uh, uh, they actually have the stripes at the top. And that one doesn't have stripes. So I think that's the cherry, and I think it's the apple. I'll show you guys all it's three of them. Definitely an orange. Yeah. So you can kind of tell this is definitely should be a cherry. But the problem is, is that this one here is kind of the same color, but then also has the same markings. So it kind of threw you off. Yeah, the orange and yellow one is definitely the orange flavored one. Very potent flavor. <clears throat> it's like you're actually biting into like a mandarin orange. Definitely we'll have that again. It's just if you want to try them all, unless you want to crunch them. I don't really want to crunch it. Then you're a monster. Which one are you having? The, the apple? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely an apple. I guess it is not yellow. It's yellow on the package. See? It's yellow on the package, but it's more clear, like... Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a... Mm. i trying to pinpoint what apple it is. It kind of tastes like the apple jelly. Which yeah, I think compared delicious. to like a green apple. Very good. Very good. And then the one that I've been looking forward to. It's not that cherry. 
is a fake cherry. Yeah, all the other ones were not like... quite like. It's not like what you would find in like a like a cherry flavored like cough syrup or something like that, but it's definitely faux cherry. Kind of like a tart one, like it wasn't quite. Oh. They want you to open up from the bottom. Well, la di da. I don't read directions. Yeah. Obviously. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't like that. Still that <coughs> I still think it has a decent flavor. It's just not... Yeah, it's not cherry. But sorry. I don't hate it. It's just not cherry. So, the Kit Kat uh, Sakura Sake. Paper wrapping. Yeah, I'm really 90% sure it's not frozen. Uh, I think we should just share one. I've not been eating mine, my other half, and yeah. Well, and if you really like it, you can. Uh, you can see what it looks like in the package. Yeah, sorry. A little name slot on the back so you can write a message if you're giving them out to people's. Very floral. Yes. <clears throat> With a hint of. I'm assuming it's the sake. <clears throat> the inside looks very much like a wafer, like a. I know it's a wafer, but like a. Um, it could like those wafer cookies. Mm, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Like the chocolate or the. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Mm -mm. I'll eat the other half because, you know. I don't know. I think I got that hint of alcohol. I don't like it. It's so very, like, minuscule. Minuscule. But. It's there. It's definitely, if you got kind of a more sensitive palate, it's definitely noticeable. But it is. Okay. We'll see if it's, it's the frozen uh, Coca-Cola lemon. Do you want me to do it? Do you want to hold the cup? Which word do you want to do? I'll pour it, I guess. Okay. So I don't think it's going to be, don't pour it all. Just pour a little bit of it. I don't think it's frozen. Gonna need a twist cap on it. Definitely smells like Coca Cola. Okay, it's not frozen at all. So we'll actually freeze it again. Hmm. You can try some. Wait, like, try a little bit. Kind of tastes like flat Coke to me. Well, yeah, because if you wouldn't be able to. No, I mean, like, it just tastes it. like flat Coke. Like, it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe the lemon flavor will come out when it's frozen. Maybe. Like, it kind of tastes like, um. Like, if you went to a store and got a slushy for a Coke, which is what this is. But I don't taste like the lemon. Hmm. Like I said, maybe it'll. Be more noticeable when it's frozen. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm definitely going to go refreeze this. And then tomorrow I will probably um, pull it out. And then what will probably happen is... Uh, yeah, this is 15 to 20 minutes. So it should have frozen. But maybe it defrosts quickly? Possibly. I don't know. It is cold. But no, let's... So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll freeze it again. We'll see what happens. If uh, at the end of this you see... A jump cut? Yeah, like a really weird jump cut where it just shows a cup and it pouring into a cup, then you know it worked. But if you didn't, we'll come up with something. Yeah. So... 
until we oh. so oh. I don't know right. so hopefully this works couldn't get any well I could probably go for longer but I don't mm. really taste the lemon. Yeah, if there's lemon in it, it's very, very mild. It's very much just like a but really, yeah, Coca-Cola slushy. Yeah, okay. Now you can do the outro. <laughs> Until next time, subscribers in the next box.